Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will see facts for UPSC prelims for 30th September 2020 from Insights IAS. Global Counter Terrorism Council, it is a registered non-profit international think tank initiated by public spirited individuals to awaken further issues of national interest and global concerns. About terrorism, it is a threat to humanity, human, human security, etc. Members belong to different faculties and background like senior bureaucrats, academicians, about officers from armed forces or paramilitary services, paramilitary services, distinguished diplomats, leading researchers, media analysts, parametrians, professionals, corporate heads, human rights groups. They provide support and regularly contribute with the aim to deliberate on the root causes of global terrorism and to present effective solutions to the problem faced by society and the government. Why in news? International Energy Security Conference 2020 was recently organized by Global Counter Terrorism Council, GCTC. Ganga Avalokan, it is the first museum on the river located at Chandi Ghat in Haridwar. It was inaugurated recently. It is aimed at showcasing the culture, biodiversity and rejuvenation activities done in the river. Sri Lanka bans cattle slaughter. Sri Lankan government has approved the proposal to ban cattle slaughter in the island nation. However, it is decided to import beef for the benefit of those who consume it. Background According to 2012 census, the over 20 million population in Sri Lanka comprised of 70.10 Buddhist, 12.58 Hindus, 9.66 Muslims, 7.62 Christians and 0.03 others. India and Denmark agreed to elevate relations to a green strategic partnership. India and Denmark recently elevated their relation to a green strategic partnership. The green strategic partnership is a mutually beneficial arrangement to advance political cooperation, expand economic relations and green growth, create jobs and strengthen cooperation in on addressing global changes, challenges and opportunities. With focus on an ambitious implementation of the Paris Agreement and a, the UN Sustainable Development Goals Mumbai maps its biodiversity It's of its kind ad attempt to visually empower Mumbai citizens with the resources they share the city with a biodiversity map of the city to showcase the wildlife hotspot, mangrove forest, urban green spaces and over 90 species that can be spotted in the city has been illustrated. Rohan Chakravarti, popularly known for his work under the title of Green Humor, is the main man behind the map. The map will serve as a reminder to Mumbaikers that they must act to protect Mumbai's biodiversity, which has been under the threat due to unsustainable development. This is part of campaign Biodiversity by the Bay, initiated by the Ministry of Mumbai's Magic, a citizens' collective comprising Mumbaikers who wish to bring the issue of protecting biodiversity for the forefront. About NS, Amnesty International, why in news? Amnesty International halts India operations following the freezing of its bank accounts by the Enforcement Directorate. The government case against Amnesty India broadly rests on two investigations, one alleging discrepancies under the Foreign Exchange Management Act and another case was registered by the CBI alleging violations under the FCRA. Amnesty International is a non-governmental organization focused on human rights. The stated objective of the organization is to conduct research and generate action to prevent and end grave abuses of human rights and to demand justice for those whose rights have been violated. The organization was awarded, awarded the 1977 Nobel Prize for its campaign against torture and the United Nations Prize in, in the field of human rights in 1978. In the field of international human rights organizations, Amnesty has the second longest history after the International Federation for Human Rights and broadest name recognition. That's all facts for UPSC prelims news from Insights IAS for today. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more UPSC current affair news for the preparation of 2021. Till then, take care. Have a nice day. Bye.